Hey yo, what up? It's your boy X, MachineMasters.com. Uh, just a quick tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna show you how I do my tagging inside a machine. Last time I showed you how to get your images all locked in using Photoshop. Uh, so I figured I'd complement that by showing you how I tag my sounds. I know a lot of people know how to do this already. Uh, you know, maybe some of you don't. Maybe some of you do it different. Uh, in any case, we'll just go ahead and get it in, and hopefully you can take something away from this. Uh, in any case. Uh, one thing I wanted to uh, to go over first is uh, where tagging is concerned. Sometimes you got sounds like, uh, let's see, in the Ski Beats kit, stuff is already subfoldered. That makes it a little bit easier to tag with the way I'm going to show you how I do it. Then you got stuff like, uh, let's see, like an Illmind kit where all the sounds are inside of one folder. You know, not a big deal, not not a pain or anything like that, but... Uh, with the subfolders, you know, there's a little trick I'm going to show you. So in any case, let's go down to uh, something that I know has. Let's just go to Illmind. So like in here, everything's in one folder. So I've already got all this stuff tagged. If I go to Blab Kits and, and Drums, you know, here's all my snares, shakers, so on and so forth. Everything's all tagged up in there already. Uh, but in terms of getting this tagged and doing it easily, obviously you don't want to select one sound, pick a tag, hit apply, and it just takes forever. So to do multiple sounds at one time, if you're on PC, hold control, and then you can individually highlight sounds. All right. Now, if you want to do a whole group of sounds, let's say all these drum loops, highlight the first drum loop, hold control and shift. I believe on Mac it's going to be uh, command and shift and when you do that hold that down and hit the last sound in the category that you want so I'm gonna go from here then I'm gonna click this one and they'll all highlight because I was holding control with shift or command on Mac with shift so now that all those are highlighted I could go ahead and tag them up how I want and then apply that now they're already tagged in here so I don't need to redo it my one little pet peeve with this, and I'm going to show you, uh, I came across this when I was trying to tag up my cardiac kit. Uh, let's say I highlight this Ben's kick, and now I want to get the next kick. So I scroll down, find the next kick. So let's say this CDK BFM kick one. Now when I hold control and highlight it, you see it jumps me back to the top of the list. So now the natural thing to do would be to go down and I want to get this next kick, hold control. And it takes me back to the top of the list. I don't know why it's set up to do that in machine right now. Hopefully that's something that they can either fix or just, you know, briefly change the code, how the code works in terms of snapping the scroll bar back up to the top. Because when you're tagging and you're trying to go down a list and there's a kick here, kick here, kick here, and it, I mean, it just keeps on going all the way down, that takes forever. I know I've talked to a couple of other people that, that are annoyed by that. So maybe we could see that get fixed. Now, obviously, what I ended up doing in here was coming up here to all banks and then just selecting the bank that I wanted to tag. So in this case, we'll do kicks. And because I selected that subfolder or that bank, it's only going to show me kicks. So now, instead of having to select them individually, if I highlight one and then hit Control A or on a Mac, Command A, it's going to highlight everything that's on the screen. And since I have it subfoldered, it made it easy to do that. So now at this point, all I have to do is pick the categories that I want these in, tag them up, hit apply, and I'm good. So let's go ahead and apply this to something that I haven't tagged up yet, which I know is Ski Beats. So we'll come to Ski. Now when I pop these in here, I actually uh, subfolded them already in Karate School. So I'm going to come in here. And go to my banks, go to karate kicks, and now only kicks are visible. So I'm going to highlight the first one, control A, they're all highlighted. Come down here, create a category, call it kicks, and then hit apply. So now all my kicks are going to pop up under there. So if I get rid of the subcategory, hit ski beats. Karate School Kicks. And it's just that simple. All right, so let's come in here now and go to Karate Snares. Highlight the first one. Control A. 
create a new category. Snares, apply, and boom. Come in here and grab hats. Highlight the first one, control A. Hats, apply, and it's just that simple again. <clears throat> now, let's unhighlight those and pop back out of here. Now we're on all banks again. So when I hit ski beats, karate school, we see hats and kicks. Now, if you notice, I did snares. You saw me do it, but it's not in here. It didn't apply for some reason. That's something I noticed machine is doing. I don't know why it's doing that, but every now and then the attributes do not apply correctly. So what I've noticed a little workaround for it is I'll come back in here and highlight all snares again. I'll highlight one of them. Do snares. Make sure it's selected. Hit apply. And now I see the snares category. Now, you notice how the other two aren't in there. That's because I'm on this subfolder right now. So if I get rid of that, they pop up. And then there's my one snare that I just tag. So now that that one snare is in there by itself and the category actually exists, we can come back in here and go to karate snares again. And let's undo these attributes. So we're seeing all snares from that kit. Control A. Highlight snares for all of them. Hit apply. All right, now let's go ahead and go back to all banks, ski beats, karate school. And there's snares. And there's all of them. So if you have that issue to where you try to highlight them all at one time and tag them all at one time, and for some reason it doesn't create the category, then the workaround is to just do one and then come back and do them all just to get that category created so that you can select it again. Because if it doesn't take the first time you make it, it won't save the category at all. Uh, in any case, that's that's really the gist of it, man. I mean, uh, you know, you can do them individually. You can do them in groups. You can use these subfolders up here. Uh, the idea is when you're all done with it, you want to be able to come into any of these joints and easily get to whatever you want. Let's go to drums, sub bass, snares, shakers, perks, kicks, everything's tagged. So that's it. You know what I'm saying? If you have any questions or uh, you want to kind of shed some light on, on how you do it, maybe there's something that I didn't show you that, that you do, um, you know, anything. Just sound off on the comment section below. You know, like, comment, subscribe, and keep checking back. We're always dropping new tutorials, little tips and tricks to help you guys out. You know, get a little further with Machine. And until next time, this is X, MachineMasters.com, and I'm out.